Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Alice who struggled to manage her money. She would often spend more than she earned, and she had no savings to speak of. One day, Alice was talking to her best friend about her financial troubles. Her friend told her about the money jar system, a simple but effective way to save money and manage her finance. Alice decided to try the money jar system. She bought five clear glass jars and labeled them necessities, savings, fun, give, invest. Every time Alice received her salary, she divided her money among the five jars according to the following percentages. Necessities, 50%, savings, 20%, fun, 10%, give, 10%, and invest, 10%. The money in the necessities jar was used to pay for essential expenses such as rent, food, and transportation. The money in the savings jar was used to build an emergency fund and save for long-term goals. The money in the fun jar could be used for anything Alice wanted, such as going out to dinner or buying new clothes. The money in the give jar was donated to charity. The money in the invest jar was used to invest in stocks, bonds, or other financial instruments. At first, it was difficult for Alice to stick to the money jar system. She was tempted to spend all of her money on the things she wanted, but she knew that she needed to save for the future. She also felt guilty about spending money on herself when there were people in the world who were less fortunate. But after a few months, Alice found that the money jar system was working for her. She was saving more money than she ever had before, and she was less stressed about her finances. She was also able to give back to the community and invest in her future. One day, Alice was walking down the street when she saw a homeless man sitting on the sidewalk. She reached into her give jar and pulled out a few dollars. She handed the money to the man and wished him well. The homeless man looked up at Alice and smiled. Thank you, he said. You're a good person. Alice smiled back. I'm just trying to do my part, she said. Alice continued on her way, feeling good about herself. She knew that she was making a difference in the world, even if it was just in a small way. A few years later, Alice was able to buy a house and start her own business. She was also able to retire early and live comfortably for the rest of her life. Alice was grateful for the money jar system, which had helped her to manage her finances and achieve her financial goals. So, my friends, I hope that you will learn from Alice's story and start using the money jar system to manage your own finances. It is a simple but effective way to achieve your financial goals and make a difference in the world.